feel good enough to play on Thursday? Do I feel good enough to play on Thursday? Uh, this is a, a really tough league, and you know I'm obviously coming off of a significant injury, and uh, we, we got a seven-game season, and I'm preparing myself um, to continue to push today and tomorrow. Obviously, it's a little difficult because I haven't practiced in four weeks, um, and we have a short week, and we just have walkthroughs this week. So we'll see as we go day to day um, how it goes, and. and Leave that decision up to upstairs. Without practice, is there a lot of wondering if you're really ready without able to get out at a full speed practice before Thursday to know? Uh, for who? Wondering for, for who? For you. Like, for me? Exactly. No, I, I try to go out there with my with, up, with my leg off if I could. I go out there with one leg and one arm if I could. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, we'll, we'll see. Um, you know, there's a lot of decisions that has to be made, so uh, we'll see. How's well, it no, felt? You're ready, right? I mean, once you go out and if you you know, go full throttle, you would know if you're ready, right? I mean, given how you know your body. Yeah, yeah, I know my body pretty well. Yeah. <laughs> You've been living in it for a couple of years, right? Yeah, yeah, I think this is my, yeah, let's not put any numbers out. <laughs> Y'all age people out. You know, when you were um, running routes before the Detroit game, yeah. was that part of, that's part of your rehab, obviously, but it is. is it, was that when you were starting to know you were getting close? or? Well, was I was in a boot in Buffalo. I guess you saw me in Detroit. So I'm making progress and we're, we're just taking it a day at a time. Obviously I haven't ran anything with a defender in front of me, uh, with, you know, with, in, a, in a full offensive scheme. I have a lot of respect for this game and I'm not gonna put a product out there that that's not up to par with how it should be played in this league. So um, I'm, I'm doing everything that I can to prepare myself. Obviously, like I said, a short week. Being on IR, you're not allowed to practice. I couldn't even take my helmet down to practice, uh, you know. So it's, it's just different things that, you know, you have to get back used to. And uh, I'm going to do everything I can in my power to prepare myself to play when that time's ready. I know tough decisions have to be made, but just for how well you know Amari as a person, how tough was that today? What was your reaction to that? Yeah, I talked to him a little bit uh, last night. Um, you know, it's very unfortunate, but, you know, that's the business that we're in. You know, I, I love the kid. You know, he's a, he's, a, he's a great kid. He goes about things the right way. He prepares the right way. He puts in the extra work. Uh, but this is a production-based business. And, um, you know, unfortunately, things happen in the business. And, you know, I, I wish him well. And I hope uh, with whatever opportunity comes following or wherever life takes him that he continues to, to press and, and be the best version of himself. And uh, that was my message that, that I echoed to him last night is, is I know who you are as a man. I know who you are as a person. Um, I, I know what kind of player you can be. So uh, c continue to push yourself and, and build your confidence. You know, whatever you got to do to build your confidence and get back to being the player that I know that you are. Um, I hope you can find that. So Maury called this a wake-up call. If for, as, is this a unifying thing for the wide receiver room? What is a wake-up call? Well? God, the Rogers getting cut. I've been in his league for 12 years, and I've seen a lot of things. Uh, you know, I've probably played with 100 receivers in my 12 years. Uh, that's just the nature of this business. It may be a wake-up call for, for him being a rookie, uh, but, but this is a man's league, and you got to understand that. you got to perform, and you're being evaluated every single day. Everything that you do uh, is being watched by someone. So that's just how I go about my business, and I try to echo that message to them. But hopefully if that is a wake-up call for him, maybe he'll understand the importance that every day and every moment is. You've been a part of a lot of different types of seasons as a rookie. It's such a great win-loss record. You've been a part of the run the table in 2016. You've been a part of teams that are expected to do great things and teams where it doesn't happen. How's this locker room at this juncture of the season feel compared to maybe the run the table year and some others you've been a part of? Uh, I, I think Sunday was a indication of the resilience that we have, the, the type of guys that we have in this locker room, because that could have easily went the other way. At any point in that game, uh, you know, obviously been down 14 in the fourth quarter, it could have went the other way. Uh, guys could have laid down and started talking about off season and start worrying about me, me, me. Uh, coaches start, you know, it, things can go very south very fast in this league. Um, and you didn't see that. You, you saw a bunch of guys that stick together and respect the net man next to them to continue to put in everything that they could um, to find a way to win that game. And luckily, we were able to come out on top. And you know, we, we got to keep it going now. We got to find a way to get another one and continue to build off of 
uh, that last win. Have you ever seen Matt LaFleur get emotional like that? Because he was pretty choked up, it looked like, in the locker room, and he also was at the podium talking to us. Yeah, he got a little tea every now and then. He'll, he'll uh, get a little emotional, but I can't, I can't say anything because I'm pretty emotional myself. But uh, no, it, it was great to see. And it, 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 I think it reminds everybody that uh, we, we feed off each other and we're here for each other. Like, yes, I'm an independent contractor, but we, we are building something together as a team and we've been doing that for a while now and it goes way beyond just a, about one person it's not about one person this this game what i love about it is any given play it takes one person that can mess up a play but but at the same time it it, it allows us all to understand that aaron can't throw for 300 yards by himself without an offensive line the offensive line, they don't get credit for a whole lot of things, um, but, but they go out there every single snap and they're, they're doing everything they possibly can to put us in the best position. And not getting any praise, any glory, just doing their job. And us as receivers, like, you, you got to be able to fill in voids and do different things. This, this, this whole game is built off of togetherness and um, it, it's very strategic. Offense, defense, special teams, and when it all meshes together and the synergy comes together, you'll get an out, outcome like you got this past Sunday. Randall, you've had a different perspective on the offense for the last four weeks watching on the sideline. What you saw on Sunday with Christian's impact, the line playing together, all the snaps, running the ball the way you guys did, being under center for the quarterback more than in shotgun. Do you think that could be the start of what you guys want this offense to do, especially if you're able to be a part of it moving forward? Uh, yeah, I mean, like like I said before, this is a production-based league, and what are we doing to produce, and, and how are we gaining yards, and how are we uh, putting up points? Um, you know, we, we saw it done um, in different ways this past week, and we have to build on the success that we've had in that game and the success that we've had throughout the season with some of the play calls that we've had. And, and continue to mesh that together in this offense and, and create something special. Randall, football is a physical game. With that in mind, fill in the blank. Thursday night football is blank. <sighs> That's all I got for you. <laughs> but I haven't played in a while, so <sighs> we'll see. Christian, Christian gave you credit for, he said there's been a few ups and downs for him mentally when he was going through the injuries and stuff. He said you've been in his ear the whole time. How important is that for you to, with where you are in your career, to be able to take those young guys and keep them positive? It's, it's just a mindset. I've, I've been down that slope. I've had the wrong thoughts. And, and being able to have some people around you that continues to uplift you and encourage you and be optimistic and know that you're going you're gonna to get another opportunity. After he had that first drop in the game, I went up to him and said, he's coming back to you. Like, he's coming back to you. Make the next one. And he went out there and had three touchdowns. So, like, I commend him for continuing to, to press forward and, and find a way uh, to make a play.